First Alert Weather with meteorologist Eric Burke. All right, happy Tuesday, friends. It's a chilly one out there, uh, but no frost on the windshield. I had some on the top of my mm -hmm. car and Not on bad. the hood, but yeah. hey, I'll take it there exactly. over, you know. And we're going to get some sun today, so it should warm yes, up a little bit. Yes, nice sunny day. Uh, not as much wind overnight into tomorrow, yeah. so if you haven't found that scraper yet, uh, time to start digging it out because uh, we're dealing with uh, frosty and freezing conditions, not just tomorrow morning, but also Thursday morning frost likely, and then into the weekend. Uh, just to mention that uh, NOAA weather radio programming, the video that uh, Brad will be doing that live on both Facebook and YouTube. Very important this time of year to have multiple ways to receive warnings, plus a lot of the newer weather the radios, the Midlands, they have that same technology. A lot of people's biggest complaint about the weather radio is that it alerts you for areas other than where you live, but the new ones, they get it pretty right. If you're in the polygon, you'll get the warning. If you're outside the polygon, you won't. And that's why the 48 weather app also a great tool to have. We could actually program that. Maybe you got an alert this morning on your phone saying freeze warning for home. I know it came to my phone and uh, you could actually turn off some of those alerts so you're not getting woken up by things like a freeze warning coming up. You want to be woken up by tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings, though. Here's a look right now at the Tennessee River. Look at all the blue and unfortunately even the pink we have on the map. But more importantly, look how far south the blue goes. You've got the nor'easter up there in the northeast U.S. And they're dealing with not only the cold, but like we mentioned, those snowfall totals and snowfall rates of one to two inches or more per hour. 30s just about everywhere, including Atlanta. 27 Gadsden, Chile there. 31 down there in Birmingham. So we will warm up. It's just going to take a long time. Even at lunchtime, our temperatures will be in the 40s for the most part. Our highs today in the upper 40s, maybe a few low 50s. We have a freeze warning again tomorrow morning. Temperatures will start off in the 20s and 30s. So winter coats needed and keep them around because we're cold next week as well. Temperatures tomorrow a little bit more forgiving in the mid to maybe even upper 50s. We will see 60s in the forecast for Thursday. Then we have rain showers coming in Thursday night into Friday for today. Sunny and cool. That's the only way to describe it. Pretty chilly heading out the door as our temps are currently in the 20s and 30s. Like I showed you 65 Thursday. We've got rain coming in Thursday night into Friday. So Friday high of 64. Colder shot of air comes in for the weekend even into next week. Now I promise you we've got some 60s at the end of your 10 day forecast. A few more clouds off to the north. There's that nor'easter and then around that you've got the wraparound snow shower but uh, messy travel conditions. If you have a flight heading to the northeast, I'd keep an eye on things. Usually with these nor'easters, a lot of flights do get canceled. No weather related concerns for that evening commute. Just a sunny, well below average day coming our way for Thursday. Temperatures warming up into the 60s. Rain showers to start off your Friday morning commute. By Friday, late afternoon, evening, we'll see that rain pushing off to the east. Should dry out by Friday night. Weekend, hey, we're sunny and dry, but temperatures will be well below average yet again in the low 50s.